like to call to order the meeting of the Public Facilities Commission. Before us is the Public Facilities Department. Good morning, Commissioners. Today I begin with meeting minutes for both the Public Facilities Department and the Department of Neighborhood Development. The meeting minutes are from our last meeting of May 16th, 2018. Is there a motion to approve the meeting minutes? I'll make a motion that we approve the minutes. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Thank you. The meeting minutes for both the Public Facilities Department and the Department of Neighborhood Development from May 16th, 2018 are approved. Beginning with the Public Facilities Department this morning, we have Patricia Lyons. She is the Director of PFD. And vote number one is being presented by Gregory Rideout. He's a Senior Project Manager with the Public Facilities Department. Vote number one concerns a request to award a contract to Design Lab Architects Incorporated to provide architectural design and construction administration services associated with the Boston Centers for Youth and Family, BCYF, Curley Community Center renovation project located at 1663 Columbia Road in South Boston. The contract price is $1,180,078. Greg, if you would present your vote request, please. Good morning, Commissioners. Good morning. Uh, the Boston Centers for Youth and Family uh, Curley Community Center uh, renovation. Um, the first slide this morning is uh, the location of the uh, Curley Center on the beach and on the harbor on uh, Columbia Road there in, uh, in South Boston. This is a view of the uh, Curley Center uh, from the west side, uh, looking out from Columbia Road uh, out towards the beach. And this is the view of the L Street entrance on the north side, uh, the men's entrance uh, to the building. Uh, you can see from the uh, facade of the, uh, of the building, there's a lot of uh, ornate uh, masonry sculpture. And um, we've asked the design team to have a uh, historical consultant as, as part of their team in the, uh, in the renovation of this um, building. The um, Massachusetts Historic Commission has identified the Curley Center in the waterfront neighborhood in South Boston as uh, potentially eligible for the National Register of uh, Historic Places. Uh, we spent time during contract negotiations to uh, confirm an appropriate slate of consultants for the project, uh, dividing out the basic and additional services, including the involvement of the historical consultant, as well as including a permitting consultant uh, to look at uh, unique requirements related to this being a, a waterfront site. Um, work for this project includes uh, building envelope repairs, uh, exterior entrances and stairs, opening up the building to some of the exterior views uh, towards the harbor, uh, some interior reconfiguration, interior finishes, establishment of gathering spaces, accessibility, providing an elevator, mechanical, electrical, plumbing, and fire protection work, and some limited site work. The designer selection committee uh, included uh, several folks from PFD as well as from BCYF. We met and reviewed the qualifications of 12 firms. The South Boston based firm uh, Design Lab Architects was shortlisted and recommended for the project. Rankings were based on experience with interior public spaces or communal spaces or recreation centers or community centers. Experience with waterfront sites and buildings adjacent to marine environments were preferred but not required. Uh, Design Lab successfully worked with us on the uh, City Hall Doors project, uh, which includes some work on graphics, wayfinding, uh, restoration of the doors, and some lo lobby circulation. The estimated uh, construction cost uh, for the Curley Community Center is $10,563,849. The basic services fee proposed with Design Lab is $897,927, and the additional services budget of $282,150. The uh, total contract duration with Design Lab, including design and construction administration, bidding period, um, 130 weeks. Uh, so for the uh, foregoing reasons, I request approval of the vote and I'm happy to answer any questions. Thank you. Uh, actually, it's not a question, more of a comment. Um, I know that building uh, quite well and one of the things it's actually used by the city is uh, for elections. Mm -hmm. uh, and one of the comments I'd make in the design there's always been a problem in that room with not enough lighting for uh, for the election officials and so forth. <laughs> so just, uh, I think it's the M Street side. Um, just uh, make sure there's enough lighting for that. Appreciate that. <laughs> On that note, I make a motion that we approve. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Thank okay. you. Vote number two is approved. 
sorry, that's vote number one. Vote number one is approved. We're now on to vote number two. Vote number two is being presented by Brian Melia. He's a senior project manager with the Public Facilities Department. The vote request concerns a contract award to Skanska USA Building Incorporated to provide owner's project manager OPM services associated with the Boston City Hall and Plaza renovations project located at one City Hall Square in Boston. The contract price is $1,825,000. Brian, if you'd present your vote request, please. Yeah. Good, uh, good morning, Commissioners. Good morning. Good morning. Uh, I'm here to request a vote for approval to award an owner's project manager contract to Skanska USA Building Incorporated for the City Hall and Plaza renovations project. Uh, Skanska's scope of services includes owner's project management services to assist the City of Boston in managing the process of design and construction for phased renovations to the building in the Plaza of City Hall. The city recently completed a feasibility study which examined the needs and identified improvements to the infrastructure of City Hall and the plaza. This project follows recommendations in the feasibility study report which includes repairs to the infrastructure of the building and plaza along with improving operations, programming, accessibility, and sustainable stormwater management. The project includes phased design and construction supported by appropriated funds over five years. I'm just going to direct your attention to the slides. Uh, the slide number one here is an aerial view of City Hall, the existing shot of the City Hall, and you can see the old fountain cover uh, with that looks like a baseball diamond, and then the new uh, NBTA headhouse um, on the lower left-hand side. And the second, uh, second photo here is another existing shot uh, looking at the, uh, the brick pavers going through City Hall Plaza and, of course, the existing structure itself, the concrete structure. And finally, the third uh, photo here is a concept design um, that was done by the uh, feasibility architects and just showing some ideas that they've come up with uh, making the um, plaza itself, uh, more friendly, more welcoming, um, and showing new infrastructure that provide welcoming civic, cultural, and event spaces. Uh, the city publicly advertised for OPM services in December of 2017. In response, six firms submitted statements of qualifications for the project. A selection committee comprised of five people with experience in design and construction management from the city of Boston Boston Public Facilities Department and Property Management Department reviewed the qualifications of each firm against defined criteria in the request for qualifications. Thereafter, four firms were shortlisted and interviewed for the selection committee. Accordingly, the selection committee members ranked the firms and Skanska was recommended as the top firm for the following reasons. They had outstanding team members assigned to the project that possess extensive experience managing large-scale construction projects historical buildings, and working in, in congested urban settings. Additionally, the team experience in Boston's downtown area, interfacing with difficult subsurface conditions and engagement with the MBTA on prior construction projects. Moreover, Skanska included City Point Partners, a state-registered woman-owned business, as a subconsultant to its team for community liaison services. So in conclusion, I'm seeking the uh, Public Facilities Commission's approval to award an OPM contract to Skanska USA Building Incorporated. Uh, and if you have any further questions, Phil, feel free to. Thank you. Uh, we have no questions. Uh, motion. May I make a motion to approve vote number two? Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Thank you. Yeah, vote thank number you. two is approved. Vote number three is being presented by Kelly Winston. She is the Procurement Accounts Payable Manager for the Planning and Management Division of the Public Facilities Department. This vote request concerns recommended contract awards to various designers and consultants 
to provide house doctor consulting services for city facilities, projects, and or sites. These consulting services will be performed on an as-needed basis from July 1, 2018 through June 30th, 2023. The contract awards are identified on the agenda and included in the supporting documents. The agenda identifies that there's a recommended contract price of $3 million per each individual general architecture contract award. That's a maximum amount or a not to exceed amount for a five-year period. The agenda and the supporting documents also note a recommended contract price of $1,500,000 per contract for landscape architecture, civil engineering, surveying and mapping services, structural engineering, mechanical, electrical, plumbing, fire protection, commissioning agent, environmental engineering and testing, building forensic investigation and testing services, claims review, risk analysis, and contract negotiations. Each of those contracts is recommended again at $1.5 million as a maximum or a not to exceed amount per contract for a five year period. Kelly, if you'd present your vote request, please. Good morning, Commissioner. Good morning, Mayor. I'm here before you to request approval to award the fiscal year 19 through fiscal year 23 house doctor consulting service contracts. The house doctor contracts are an on call contract for design and design related services. These contracts cover the nine categories which were just introduced for the record. These contracts were procured through a process that meets Mass General Laws Chapter 72 requirements for design service contracts. The advertisement appeared in the city record and the Boston Globe on February 26, 2018 and in the Central Register on February 28, 2018. 70 statement of qualifications were received on March 28, 2018. A committee comprised of three members of the Public Utilities Department staff reviewed and evaluated the SOPs against a published set of criteria. The committee determined that 58 of the applicants were qualified and recommend awarding contracts to those firms. <coughs> the vote before you is to award 58 individual contracts. 26 contracts should have a value not to exceed three million for general architecture and a not to exceed value of 1.5 million for 32 contracts for all the other previously stated categories, each over a five year period. To be clear, these contracts will be executed to the not to exceed limit, but the contracts will be encumbered as projects are funded and approved to move forward. The scope of work includes investigating, evaluating and preparing certifiable assessments study and or final design and construction administration services for new construction, renovations, alterations, modernization and or addition to various facilities and sites. Of the 58 contracts to be awarded to the prime consultant, seven will be to minority business enterprises, one will be to a minority and women owned business enterprise and eight will be to women owned business enterprises. In addition, the prime consultants in various categories will carry subconsultants, which include 29 minority business enterprises, 55 women owned business enterprises, two minority and women owned business enterprises, one veteran owned business enterprise, and one service disabled veteran owned business enterprise. For the foregoing reasons, I request your approval to award the aforementioned house doctor contracts. I'm happy to answer any questions. Um, thank you for your presentation. You actually answered um, questions I was going to ask, so thank you for that. No questions for me. I make a motion that we approve. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Thank you. Vote number three is approved. Is there a motion to adjourn this meeting? I make a motion to adjourn. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye.